here he comes down the ring. And you know, he's the greatest of all time, but I always equate Flair with NWA and, and WCW from yeah. the bulk of his career, right. if you will. Okay. I know what happens here. Yeah. Didn't quite get there. that meant to him and, and it meant you know, the world to me and I wanted him to I wanted him to be successful. I don't know that I it kind of came off like I was being cocky, but that wasn't my intent at all. I, I was so I was so thrilled to be in this match that uh I mean, who would uh, nice kick out nice bump over the world. Man, he, there's just so much you can learn from a guy. Even, even to the day. It's How were you with the chops? Because Flair loved chop people. You weren't so much a guy that loved chops. I didn't like chops. Um, but, you know, there's 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 a few guys. Like, all right, you Flair, right. <laughs> you're going to chop me up. I don't, you know, it's Flair. No, so here's this is the first time that I've made reference yeah. to the street. The Undertaker is up. He's in it all. He's in it all. And that was the start of it. And after that, it, it, it kind of took on a life of its own, and, and it just kind of magnified each year because the, the lore and the legacy and the, the mystique of the whole thing continued to grow year after year, and it became almost as important as whatever the main event was. So going into that year, uh, I remember Vince pulling me into the office at the TV. He goes, Mark, he goes, I'm, I'm so sorry. Like, I hadn't got you figured in, right, to Mania. And I was like, yeah, I've kind of, you know, kind of noticed, right? Everybody's, you know, deep into their builds already, right? And he goes, I mean, I got two guys. I got two guys for you, you know? And uh, he goes, I got RVD and I got Flair. And I don't think he got Flair all the way out before I said Flair. And he was shocked, right? This was shocked. Yeah. Because he thought I was going to go with the younger, you know, the guy. And, Flair, and, and RVD was on his way up and, and yeah. you know, he was doing good things. But it was like, I want to work with Flair. And he was still trying to, like, you don't want to work with, you don't want to work with RVD. I said, no, I, I got plenty of time to work with RVD. I want to work with Flair. Yeah. And he goes, you know, good, 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 good. you know, Flair wasn't one of Vince's guys. He didn't come up, right? So he didn't have the, he didn't have the same feel like me and you do, right? That's right. respect level. I said, I, I got a choice, right? He goes, yeah, I, was, I want to work with Flair. And he goes, oh, okay. And uh, really, I'm really proud of that. I, I thought, you know, <laughs> I didn't understand this until later. Rick thanked me after that match. And he goes, I just want, I just want to thank you because you've restored my confidence. And I'm like, wait, wait a minute, you're, you're Ric Flair, right? And you're the greatest to ever do this, right? And, and he, he was as sincere as he could be. And I didn't understand until after my ordeal with, with Brock. Right. And, and it wasn't that I lost, but it was the concussion and the fact that I, I for the first time ever, I felt vulnerable to our business. And up until that point, I was invincible. There was nothing that I couldn't overcome. There wasn't any injury that I couldn't work through. That match with Brock really just destroyed my confidence. And it's a lot, it's really hard for people to understand that. Like, wait a minute, you're the undertaker. And it wasn't until once I got my wits back about me that I under, truly understand why Rick thanked me for helping him. And, and we kind of have that, that bond and that link now. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it took it took that that concussion and all that to under, truly understand what he was talking about. Just for, uh, for just for a little bit of context, you know, your WrestleMania record is 25 and two. 
So right. going into the Brock Lesnar match, you were 21 and 0, right. and you would be 21 and 1. Right. Your, your first defeat. Uh, but before we get into, into that, uh, just some other numbers, if you will. Triple H, who we both highly respect, 10 and 13 in WrestleMania. So what a run that is. Yeah. I mean, 23 WrestleManias. Shawn Michaels, who's Mr. Uh, WrestleMania. Mr. WrestleMania, 6 and 11. Right. Uh, John Cena, Workhorse, 10 5. Hogan, eight three, one draw. I was five and two 